don't want guys to try to win the game on every single play. I want you to do your job as hard as you can do it on every single snap. And I want us to play for each other and love each other and kick ass from start to finish. Let's pray. Let's go out and give everything we got. Do it, boys. Let's go! Well, it was definitely an interesting season. It was a little bit of a roller coaster, I think, for everyone where you talk about highs and lows. We had some of the ultimate highs and ultimate lows throughout the course of the season. And Beginning of the season is always exciting. Everyone's zero and zero. Anticipations are high. Um, we were very excited about the incoming class. The beginning of the year, uh, we were able to get off blocks easier. A lot of the guys weren't, you know, they weren't thinking, they were just doing what they were told in their assignments, and it worked a lot. Um, we want to be really aggressive with what the way we do things. We want to be the most physical group out there, um, not even just the D-line, the outside linebackers, the inside linebackers. Um, with the way that Coach Ebner does a lot of his calls is we want to get to the quarterback. And we had high expectations for this year, um, and you know we thought that we could uh, could turn things around um, and make a run at a league title legitimately this year. And you know we had some streaks in there where we did well, but we we fell short of those goals, which was a little bit frustrating. Remember the dot. Remember what this means. Yep. Focus. And we, we did have some issues early on. Just to be what honest, you know, we really flipped saying? on the tape and. Um, you know, whether it was an effort thing or a technique thing, and, and it was some things that just, yeah, the first game, Simpson, I, they're our crib tonight. We, we just can't beat them. I don't know if it's if it had anything to do with us going down there the last couple of years. I mean, we're not going to use that as an excuse, um, but they've just gone and taken it to us. With the, the South Dakota team, um, that was not the same team we played the year before. I think the year before we snuck up on them, um, you know, we had a 14-game losing streak. They're this Division II scholarship school. Moving on to the middle of the season there after those first couple games that were, were, were tough ones for us, you know, we, we got the, our win streak going where we beat Southwestern, you know, beat Lacrosse, beat Eau Claire, um, and that gave our guys a lot of confidence going into things. So, you know, we were top 15 in the country in, um, I think, sacks, you know, rushing defense, tackles for a loss, um, a few of the major categories. We had found a little bit of an identity on defense and kind of figured out who we were. Yeah, to, to get three in a row was, was nice, and, um, you know, especially given recent records before that um, and just kind of recent history, the last time we won three in a row was, well, I can't remember when it was, 2004 or something like that. Um, I think it worked out. You know, I'll say it right. Kyle Nardis, yeah, he did get benched against Southwestern. Um, it worked out. He's an all-conference kid now. He played considerably better after that. You, you hate to do that, but with a kid like that, he's got a lot of natural ability, and you almost don't want to overcoach it, you know, because he's got things like so that you can't coach either. He's like 6'1". He's very athletic. Um, he's in the right place at the right time. First coming in, didn't even know him. He was a transfer from Stevens Point. Um, we kind of just clicked right away. I mean, the same thing with the whole like no fly zone, the whole um, swag type thing, I guess you would say, like with the accessories we wear, the armbands, the arm sleeves, all just things like that. Look good, feel good, play good type of sort of mentality. So, I mean, that just helped right away. So just like getting prepared for games and everything. Once you're on the field, I mean, you have to have trust. So like knowing that I'm going to be down on this play and he's supposed to be back, just knowing that I can go full speed. I don't have to worry about a receiver burning me deep because I know he'll be there. So it's kind of just a whole trust thing, just all works together. You know, we put Kyle into the boundary where he can, he's our best coverage guy. He's going to be on one-on-one -on -one a lot because we trust him to do that. Um, we didn't ask him to do a whole lot of route reading and, and, and things like that with him being into the boundary. So we just kind of let him play. And sometimes that's what you have to do. And... I mean, it just helps when you got guys like Tyler Ledbetter and Charlie Register um, and Ekman and all those guys, you know, that, that push you, want you to get everything done. And, you know, it, it just, it's almost a mindset thing coming into every day, trying to be the best you can. Because as a defensive back, you only get noticed when you do something bad. So, I mean, that's kind of what we shoot for is try to almost not get noticed. But 
um, teams kind of they do a good job of kind of adapting to you know what we were good at and kind of you know figured out some things that we were doing um, so later in the year along with the teams getting better more talented that we were playing against um, they started to do a lot of things where we ran into teams where they did a ton of max protection where they'd keep seven or eight guys in to, to protect against us with our blitzes and when teams started to do that it kind of it started to expose us a little bit um, in the secondary because it was in the secondary a, a group that was inexperienced um, so both our corners had really never taken any varsity snaps for us um, one of our seniors um, charlie register um, great player but he was the one again that was a little limited from an experience standpoint he had taken some snaps for us before um, so, and we came up with some injuries in the secondary late there. This year we kind of, I felt like we stepped up. We beat kind of the stout lacrosse Eau Claire teams and we kind of, our, our goal was try to get in that group, get in that elite group, try to get in the playoffs and make a playoff push. That's been our goal every year. And some years it hasn't happened, but it's going to be our goal next year and we're going to try to get it done. And the, you know, Whitewater, Oshkosh, Platteville are all teams that ranked in the top 15, you know, Whitewater's the defending national champion and Oshkosh beat them. So some very tough opponents. So some of the things that we got away with early in the season, you know, kind of caught up with us a little bit when we were playing against those better teams. And, you know, you, you put injuries into that stuff too when you're, when you're playing those teams. And that's one of the things that we need to continue to build towards is having the depth that we need um, when guys get nicked up and get hurt and go down that the next guy can step up and not have a drop off so obviously the season didn't end the way we wanted it to but we took steps in the right direction which you know to put things into perspective you know even though the season was frustrating because we didn't you know win as many games as we would have wanted to you know we we did win the most games since 2001 so you know off I would have you know maybe if I would have looked at a few more clips or looked at this specific situation maybe would we would have been better prepared on Saturday and it's like I said you never feel like you can do do enough but <laughs> even though you like I said it was like I said from a defensive perspective it, there was a lot of ups and downs with, with what we were dealing with where you know I'd already mentioned that you know we'd, we halfway through the season we were, you know, we had, we were in some of the uh, the top top categories in the country as a defensive unit. You know, we were leading the conference in sacks and tackles for a loss and interceptions, and those are some major categories to be leading in. So um, that was a, that, that was really exciting with, with what we had going on there.